Hey crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, with Quality Crafts, and at my Quality Crafts Facebook page, we're doing a weekly challenge. This week, we're doing a center step card, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Now, I'm only going to show you how to make the base, and once you do that, all the decoration will be up to you. Let's go! Now the base of our card before we cut anything or do any scoring is 5 and a half by 11. We already know that an 8 and a half by 11 sheet of paper is 11 the lengthwise, so we're going to just slide it in this way to the 5 and a half, and that way we'll have 5 and a half by 11. So we're going to use this big piece that's 5 and a half by 11. Next, grab yourself a score tool. We're going to make a couple of short score marks that are an inch long. And we're going to start it out at the one inch. And if you put your, if you put your marking piece down here, you'll see where the inch is. And you'll start here and you'll go up to an inch. Then we're going to go at the two inch mark. And we're going to score that to an inch. And then we're going to go out to the six and a half inch mark. And we're going to score that at one inch. Okay, so it was a one inch score mark at one inch, two inches, and six and a half. We're just going to flip our paper around. We're going to do the exact same thing. Only this time we can use these score marks to line ourselves up. So line it up so that your first one inch score mark that you made is on the line. That way the only thing you have to do is go up to the top because it's already lined up and bring that score mark down to the one inch. Then slide it over to the other mark that we have here that was at the two, the two inch mark. And we already know that that's at the two, mark, two inch mark so we're going to go up to the top and we're going to score that one down to the one inch mark. Same thing with the six and a half inch mark. We don't even have to look where it is because we already have the score at the bottom of the page. So we're going to line that one up at the six and a half inch mark and we're just going to make our other score mark down to the one inch. You should not be able to look at your card and have one inch score marks at the one inch, the two inch, and the six and a half inch and the same on the other side. 1 inch, 2 inch, and 6 and a half inch. We're going to line up at the 1 inch mark where we started our scoring in the first place. And we're going to put our cutter at the very first 1 inch mark where we dropped off of our, or where we did our first score. And we're going to drag this all the way down to our 6 and a half inch mark. And we're going to stop there. And then we're going to slide this in to five and a half. Oops, I'm sorry, not five and a half, four and a half. So that we get one inch on this side. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start at that one inch score mark that we made. And we're going to cut this all the way down to the six and a half inch. So now if you look, we have a line, a cut that runs from our one inch mark down to our six and a half inch mark. From our one to our six and a half on both sides. We have one more score mark to make. Okay, taking your paper with this end where we had our first, our first um, and second folds here at the one and two inch marks. You're going to take that end and slide it down to the five and a half inch mark. And where we're going to do this one, let me see if I can zoom in for you. All right, where we're going to do our fold line, or I always say our fold line, what I mean is the score line, is we're going to go from the cut line to the cut line. So we're not going all the way across the paper. So find your your score indent at the one inch here and score it straight across to the other cut line, not straight across the paper. Okay, so it should look like that. You have a score here on this line, but you still have a little bit more of a cut line to go. 
Okay. So we're gonna, that's going to be important when we do the folding to make this stand up correctly. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and then I'll show you how to fold this up. Okay, these first two score lines, and I have this big blank part as the back of the card towards the back of the card now, okay? These two right here are going to fold down. And this one right here is going to fold up. So they basically look like they're going the same direction. Push those, t those three going up like that. And then these two are going to be folded down. This one and this one. Making the next ones go up. And then you want to take and push these down. And then push the top down so it all comes down together. Just squish it down on top of itself. And then give all of your lines a good crease. And then you should have a card that looks like this. So a center step card, meaning this center part comes out and these two side steps remain behind. Okay, and here's the card that I created that is in our folder at the Quality, pa Quality Crafts Facebook page. And that's for your inspiration. So like I said, once you make this base for the challenge, all the direction, all the decoration is completely up to you and you can use any style, any color, it doesn't matter. Good luck and have fun. If you're not a part of our Quality Crafts Facebook page, but you enjoyed making this card, you might enjoy joining the challenges that go on once a week. And there's always a small prize, but we have a lot of fun there. It's drama free. It's an open public group. Everyone's invited and we're uplifting and encouraging and we like to share a lot of freebies and different exciting things. So please consider coming on over. I'll put the link down in the description bar so it's easy to find. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you guys next video.